Anyways, all right, Vin Diesel. <laughs> Man, this is going to be a long show, um, which is fine. Um, so now more details have come out. I mean, obviously you guys know that Mr. Justin Lin walked, walked away after a week of shooting of Fast X, Fast and Furious 10. So now more details are coming out. And like, you know, that's what, uh, you know, the whole opening of uh, the show was all about when it came to that. But yeah, some new information has, uh, has come about. And we all knew that something happened. And we all knew that it had to do with Vin Diesel. At least some of it had to do with Vin Diesel, if not all of it. And we saw the video where it looked literally like Justin Lin was being held hostage by Vin Diesel. Felt like that, right? So now we got this. Behind the scene, behind, the, behind Justin Lin's Fast 10 breaking point, a Saturday to remember. It started as a talk about notes with franchise star and fellow producer Vin Diesel escalated into a major disagreement and ended with a slam door. Justin finally had enough and said, this movie is not worth my mental health. Wow. Families come in all shapes and sizes. Yeah, it's all about family, right, Vin? Huh? Fuck off. I, you know he's... Ugh. It's all about family. You would have stopped after Paul Walker passed. Okay? That guy was your brother. You should have, in respect for him, just been like, all right, we're just going to close the book on Fast and Furious right now because we lost the other half. The better half, in my opinion. Ugh. Let's see. So Lynn was handling writing duties on the movie and believed he had a locked script going into it. Universal and Diesel had other thoughts. A key location that had been secured ha was cut due to its Eastern Europe location amid the war in Ukraine. And the movie still hadn't cast one of its villains yet. What? So they started filming and they still didn't have a villain? What? Or is this before J Jason Momoa got cast maybe? I don't know. On top of that, even as Lynn tried to draw lines in the sand, the studio said it would be sending uh, it would be sending to London a writer to polish dialogue for some of the actors, a uh, move that was expected but apparently not welcomed by Lynn at the time. Sources say the constantly moving target proved to be much for seasoned Lynn, who on April 23rd had a major disagreement with Diesel. The four-person meeting had begun with Diesel having new notes. It ended with a slam door. Justin finally had enough and said, this movie is not worth my mental health, says one source. Both Lynn and Diesel declined comment for this story. Good for Lynn! Good for Lynn! Okay, we've heard this story before. Studio and egos and whatever the fuck putting pressure on the fucking director. You know, we've heard the story. And the fact that he was like, you know what? Fuck this movie. And apparently he was going to be paid like 10 to $20 million. He, he decided to walk away from 10 to $20 million. That's how much he was like, this is not worth it. Okay, this is not worth it. And that's why I was like, Justin Lin, now go make a passion project, please. Do something for your mental health, something that, that, that you're passionate about, a subject that you're passionate about. Do a passion project. That's what I hope he does. A Universal spokesman, spokesperson told THR, any creative differences leading to Justin Lin's exit were with the studio, not the fellow producers, cast, or crew. Yeah, okay. Not the producer, not Mr. Baldy Pants, who is shorter than he actually... Um, shows himself on screen in the heat of the moment lynn said he was through with the movie the studio took him seriously and by april 25th a settlement was reached for lynn to exit the production he would remain involved as a producer a great many of crew had worked on f9 with lynn and for a spell wondered uh what their next moves should be but lynn according to insiders gave his blessing that they should stay on regardless the muscle car had lost its driver and is uh, speeding down the highway so april 26th april 26th three days after the blow up lynn announced his departure blah 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 with the support blah 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 we heard that lynn's departure was months in the making and offers a glimpse into the kind of high pressure cooker environment that the movie series now almost 20 years old has become it also illustrates how high the stakes are for its studio universal pictures its key star and producer diesel and any director caught in the sturm und drang whatever the fuck yeah 
So yeah, just all all that stuff. Blah 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 blah. And uh, of course, we got the uh, the new director. What's his name? The guy who did like transporter movies, all that stuff. Here we go. So yeah, we got Mr. Uh, Lewis Lerderer. Lerderer. <laughs> uh, he is now in the driver's seat. Good luck. Good luck to you, sir. I mean, this guy, it's going to be Vin Diesel directing the rest of this movie. You know that, right? It's going to be a studio and Vin Diesel movie. Mr. Lewis right here, he's just going to be the the name, the guy in the chair that's going to yell action and cut. But is he going to have any input on anything that happens in this movie? I don't know. This is It's just a disaster. I mean, it's just ugh, it's dumb. It's gross. Again, I was over this fucking franchise when Paul Walker died because I liked his character more than I liked the Dom, the Dom Toretto character. But they were good yin and yang. They were good, you know, pairing and stuff. And I liked where they took the franchise. But I wanted them to go back to like a smaller movie. But yeah, so there you go. There's all that shit, all that bullshit. Vin Diesel, man. I mean, the guy can't... I mean, they, they also talked about... I mean, there was also like a, an insider that said... The same thing that we've heard even Dwayne Johnson say, that's why it's all funny, is the fact that Vin Diesel would show up to the set late, he would show up and not know his lines, and then he said he would show up out of shape, like he wasn't in shape, and, you know, it's kind of funny because everybody always knows Vin Diesel has to be like, you know, but we've seen some pictures in between movies where he's just like, I don't give a fuck, and he's got a gut, and he's got saggy man boobies, and he's just like, whatever. And we've heard that he likes to just fuck around on set. He likes to ride around on a scooter and blah, blah, blah. So there's also that, too. So there's also the pressures of getting this movie, and you're trying to you have a schedule to keep, and your main star is fucking late all the time? That's ridiculous. Ridiculous. And Dwayne Johnson said that shit. He absolutely said I'm wondering if he's going to comment about this. That's what I'm wondering. I'm wondering if Dwayne Johnson's going to take to a video or something on Instagram and kind of throw a little shade. You know, raise an eyebrow, raise an eyebrow. I hope he does. I hope he does. Because, you know, Dwayne Johnson don't need it. I don't need it. Got Black Adam coming out. Why not? 